This is the smallest HF portable receiver in the market available today. Let's take a closer look. This is the SI4732 mini pocket radio HF receiver right now and to give you an idea of the size we have a lighter here so you can see how big and how long this thing is I put them side by side yeah that's how big it is it fits in your pocket obviously and uh, you can be a spy if you want all you need to do is to know the rendezvous place with the frequency and just you turn it on and you start listening uh, write down your instructions for your next mission and there you go so looking at uh, outside it's uh, it feels very nice it's not like a toy it it has some weight into it uh, this is the on off switch over here we have the SMA antenna connector uh, there is a USB-C plug for slow charging okay it's just slow charging uh, there is an option to connect to a computer, but not any firmware available yet, available yet if you would like to upgrade this uh, version. There is an audio jack 3.5 millimeter, and the speaker is back here. Uh, trust me, you will need an external speaker or either or earphones or headphones because the sound coming out of this tiny little speaker is not the best. Even if you put your hands like that to make the sound come this way, Nah, it's not the same uh, back here there's a tiny little hole and this is where the LED light uh, indicates when you charge the uh, radio it will turn green I'm sorry uh, red and the channel selector here which you can press and get into the menu and check all the settings so let's uh, take a look let's go ahead and turn it on beautiful you can hear the, the speaker ah, it sounds teeny it sounds teeny before I go into all the options uh, let me take a let me show you uh, what exactly you will need this radio right now without the antenna it's some special I think it's a 21% off uh, the price is at the time I'm making this video $29.58 but you only get the radio itself if you would like uh, this radio comes within a, a telescopic antenna and I think it's four dollars more so the price with the uh, telescopic antenna is $32.18 and also the third option is the BB antenna as you can see here with this antenna the radio will be at $32.99 I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you if anybody wants to buy this radio and uh, I regret not buying the mini telescopic antenna I bought the uh, BB antenna let me show you so I ordered the uh, BB antenna which covers from 9.9 .9 kilohertz all the way to 181 megahertz uh, I'm going to be honest, I tried it indoors and it didn't do much. This is how the antenna looks like. Uh, the, this is basically the same material as a circuit board. And you can see here those lines. It looks like a vinyl uh, record. This is where the antenna is printed on, the, on this circuit here. And this is how it works. You attach this into onto the radio like so. Okay. Let me show you a couple other things that you will need that uh, don't come with the radio. And speaking of uh, some other attachments, you will need this um, SMA adapter. If you want to connect to an external antenna like I'm going to do here for this demonstration. So you will need a female, sorry, a male SMA to SMA uh, adapter. And then you will need oops and then you will need this which is an SMA female to SO239 okay SMA to SO239 so this will go in like so and it will give you the option 
to connect with your uh, external antenna like we're going to do here like so and the other side goes onto the radio so there's people talking right now but because of the tiny little speaker you won't be able to understand what they say that's what that's why we need an external speaker uh, from this jack here either um, headphones or earphones so let's plug in so here we are just gonna put the volume down a little bit so I can show you all the uh, the features look at the receive All right, we're gonna stay here because it's quiet. Okay. So. So how this works is, over here you can see uh, a list of all the, the options and the selections that you have made. So for example, it tells you here that we are on the CB band, we are on AM mode. See somebody's keying up. Uh, our step is at 5 kilohertz. Our bandwidth is uh, 2.5. I'm going to show you how to adjust the bandwidth to make the radio. Because if you leave it at uh, 3, it sounds a little bit teeny. Uh, on 2.5, it sounds obviously narrower, a little bit more bass. You have your uh, automatic gain control, which is on, and then your BFO. So on this side here, we, we can see the, uh, the battery indicator. Here it tells us our uh, what kind of uh, modulation are we using. And here is our signal indicator, beautiful little signal meter. And right below is the volume. Now, as you've noticed, there is not a volume control. So in order to adjust the volume, um, that's why you, you make your settings and just leave it there and just listen. You have to press uh, one time here. If you press one time, it will take you through all the bands. So see, it, it can go into 10 meters. It can go uh, here, I guess you can scan, you can go up and down all over the bands. Uh, over here is the uh, VHF. Now, here it says VHF, but this radio does not receive uh, VHF, UHF, or air band. It has, so right now it says VHF, but it is uh, FM radio. So if I go up here, see we're already picking up a station. So it will go up to 1.7, yeah, and and here it stops 1.8. Oh, it has RDS also. It tells you like uh, it plays messages from the from the radio station. So that's it, 1.71. It doesn't go uh, higher than that. So no VHF, no UHF, no uh, airband. You can uh, listen to anything below that all the way to like the HF bands. Wide, um, everything's here, 80 meters, SWL, couple of bands, 40 meters. Uh, see, everything is here. All your bands are here for uh, 20 meters. You have to be quick though, because once you press the button here to go into the frequency, it changes really fast. So you have to be uh, fast to select. Here's your 15 meter band and whatnot. And of course the CB band. And yes, it can do sideband. So uh, now to get into the menu and change all these settings, you have to hit, uh, you have to push the button twice. There you go. So here is our band. Here, here we can mute, and it will indicate that the, the receiver is muted. And then we're gonna go and unmute or go into the volume. See, it won't let me. So we gotta go and unmute and say unmute. And now the volume, the volume part 63 is the highest, and. It doesn't go any more than that and it goes all the way from 0 to 63. Okay, I'll leave it at 63. Uh, something here is uh, you can change the step. So right now it says on um, 5, we can go change the step 
if you want to go fast you see how the frequency changes down here it's very nice I like that so here we are already at 385 okay so we're gonna press twice and here we have our mode and here we can select sideband so upper sideband lower sideband let's take a listen I can see I can hear already some stations okay put the volume down I uh, just wanted to show you down here press twice and go into the uh, bandwidth BW BW is our bandwidth and here we can make it narrow wider that's amazing so now if I leave it at three I think it the the default option is three uh, to me it sounds a little bit teeny So I'm just going to go back and change it to 2.2. 2.2. It sounds like an HF radio. You will definitely need an external speaker. And uh, look, listen to it. it. It sounds like a like an HF radio. Let's take a look at some other stuff. Now we're gonna press twice to go into the menu there is a seek function it's not a scanner but it's a seek it's called seek and well there is stations talking so basically it's like a scanner the only thing with this is that if you tell it to start scanning it will pick up a station and then it will stop there it won't continue into the next one so you have to intervene again and tell it to either go up or down yeah because there's people talking the, the signal is loud now uh, there is no squelch okay so that this is one of the reasons that uh, it doesn't um, there is soft mute which uh, I think it acts like a squelch so I'm just gonna put it at 32 which is the the maximum and then we will go back and tell it to seek up and down see if we can do something no okay so now it can scan uh, i don't know why we have no receive uh, maybe our antenna is not oh we picked up a station let's see will it will it go to the next one after a few seconds no you will have to do it manually again so there is a uh, seek up and seek down feature like uh, a scanner but uh, let's go up now again one more time I'll select this so that helps a little bit but uh, it's not good when you have like right now our antenna is not for this frequency that's why we don't get a lot of signal so if I was to go to uh, 27 megahertz look at for example this signal here okay we are at 13.500 so now I'm gonna press seek up there you go and it doesn't oh so I don't understand we have this much signal uh, I'm curious to see what it picked up now one second So this scanner function, the step is set to five. Okay, let me try something else. So we change the step to one, and it receives uh, its scanning. But it's not the best because 
Look how much noise we have here. So even if I tell the radio, look, 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 it's almost 9S units, as we say in the radio world. So if I go to seek up now again, if it let me choose it, <laughs> okay. Like, how do you determine if somebody is talking? Look at... Oh. I think that's... Um, okay, let me... Let me... Uh, let me explain. Let me explain something. So, if we press twice, there is the soft mute, and that's I think that's what the soft mute does. So, if it again, if it let me go in, I have set it at 32. If I set it at zero and try to see if I'm gonna seek up, for example, it worked. So it does have a seek function. It can go either up or down on the frequency. Otherwise, if you want to, um, it's not very practical. Let's say if you're at uh, 13845 and the step is set to 1 and you want to go to 37, uh, sorry, 13700, there's no cursor that you can move under the digit and you can select which digit to move. You have to go manually like this. So. Uh, you have no choice but to go in there and change the step back to 5 so that you can go down a little bit faster that's the only way Beautiful receive. What do you think about all that, Dave? Well, I think it's all right. It's just uh, it's got a little bit of 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 a